Hey, what's up? This is Sane doing a Let's Play walkthrough of the Telltale Collection. Uh, we're doing Episode 2, A House Divided. And I got a pair of new headphones. They're called Razors. And they are very good with music, let's say, if they're good with the game. Uh, they are, because I bought Destiny 2 on special, Destiny 2 Forsaken, all the DLC for only $40. Uh, for a special deal on Xbox Live. So let's get right into it here and let's start. I also made my map, but I'm gonna make one more map. Uh, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna start with that, but yeah. By beating this, I should be. Second place on leaderboard gamer score for Xbox Live because, um, yeah, they have a scoreboard for that. I can't beat Maka, so yeah. Even though we live in the same city, well, not really, but yeah, in the same general area. So we're continuing, uh... New sound effects there. Oh, it's this part. I want food! Give me all your fucking food! They want ice cream. On the downside, We're in the ice cream truck. Can't get through them. What are you looking at? Your bit. Staring ain't polite. You know you should have not. Come on out and say it. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Peachy? Hand me that there. No, I'm not. Cutting it off won't work. Says who? I've never heard of it working. Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, come on, Lee! You should have mentioned Lee. Lee didn't do that. How the fuck can you rest? There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. You see, Pete? This is what happened. You should have gave them ice cream. Now they're fucking angry. Because this is what happens. No, it's a terrible joke, obviously. Because we are in a fucking ice cream truck, it looks like. So there's two scenarios to this. You could pick, uh, Nate, which you're in a drunken cellar. And then this part where there's just two areas. Last plate, long time ago, into the drunken cellar. So, change of plans. I'm actually gonna do, uh, a Let's Play walkthrough without face for Season 4. And I'm gonna do Season 4 with the face in this collection. And when, uh... Uh, since Telltale made the first two episodes, I'm going to make Telltale's The Walking Dead, and then I'm just going to call it Skybound's The Walking Dead, even though they were associated with Skybound. Telltale kind of didn't make it, Skybound was the one releasing it, so... I'm going to name it Skybound, because they're the ones that are finishing it, obviously, because Telltale couldn't. But Telltale is still part of the development, of course. But Skybound is going to take the credit from now, for the last two episodes. So we're gonna look at... Oh, Nick. That stupid kid. Are 
Are you sure you don't want to? I mean, maybe I could... Uh... No, thank you. Crush hazard? Why is it a crush hazard? For what? The keys are still in it. Well, worth a shot. Out of gas. Okay, done. Smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. You shouldn't. Why? <laughs> they gonna kill me? <sighs> Give me those. Got a light? So I have no option. That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait. Yeah, so I missed the dialogue option, but... I don't care. I should have checked my backpack, but I, I don't know if that would trigger something. Okay, he's a zombie. This is a bad idea. Okay. Oh, damn it. I feel like 10 pounds of shit in a 5 pound sack. Well, that's what happens when you're sick. Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking, and I don't want to die. <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. He's been playing a tough hand, but he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. See if the ice cream truck looters are still outside. Yep, they're there. I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. You're coming 
with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. <sighs> All right. I'll try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <sighs> we're burning daylight. Need more at night, but okay. Let's get this over with. Shit. Looks like Pete died, so I wonder what would happen if I didn't if I did if I left him in the can, like I never chose that option, would he still be alive? With you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! and Alvin went out looking for you. I told him not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. She gets nervous. Just go. Hurry. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. I mean, I'm not gonna babysit Sarah, because she's older than me. Say cheese! Cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? Sure. Sure. Sure I will. Give me a good pose, okay? All right. Okay, I'm ready. Nice. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Clem, you're scaring me. You should know what's going on. He told you not to tell me, didn't he? He is in trouble. Oh my gosh. What happened? Clem? What's going on? Pete's dead. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You know, she said, why is this music still going? Can we change the tune? So you have fucking mood swings or something? Like, how the fuck you sad and... Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. 
What if I have to use one? Nobody tells me anything. It's too dangerous. <sighs> Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry sorry. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! Whoever programmed the music for this scene is fucking terrible, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, that's just my opinion. I would, I, I, I would do a way better job, dude. That's just terrible. Okay, so there should have been some sick, sad music for a brief moment. It's interesting it stopped. Like, ah, oh, it's just so Horrible. Invisible wall. Oh. That's not Luke, and the soundtrack gives it away. And inverted controls is killing me. That's not Luke. No way that's Luke. That's not Luke. No shit. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Just go hide. Don't open the door for strangers. Lock the door. Oh, well done. Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? No, thank you. Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl, a bit taller than you. Big black guy, this big, and a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Okay, then I guess this guy, that's Carver, then that's Carver. This has to be Carver. Well, looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you. More. Hmm. Just passing through, or you been here a while? You listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here, and I already don't want to leave. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitched camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. And... Like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. What kind of tents? Big orange ones. Why? Just wondering. Oh, 
Oh, it's a knife. Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. I mean, Carver's not a bad guy. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Not really. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. Nobody is here. told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? seen her before you have no idea who these people are do you do you know them let me ask you this when you met them how much did they trust you well they locked me up in a shed if people don't trust you how can you trust them? Well, they saved my life from zombies. That's why. Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. <sighs> well, wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. The dialogue options could be a lot better, okay? Because they're terrible. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? I think he's definitely gonna come back. We gotta tell the adults now. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Well, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. We don't know anything yet. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy or not nice, right? 
You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Why don't you escape? We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. I'm guessing the baby is Carver's. Remember in the bathroom? I'm guessing that's why they're after them. Or maybe he's just an evil piece of shit. I don't know what really happened. Really, It's really unclear what they really did, right? Obviously. Because the story doesn't even tell you. Um... I would just move out of state or something. So Barbara can you said it was us. just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey Clem, sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. I'll try to cut you some slack. Why is Carver after you? After me? I knew it. Oh, you mean us? It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. Uh, I guess I you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Right there, an ice cream truck. There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. That's probably Pete got eaten. Uncle Pete! Oh, oh. No, that's horrible. Oh my god. What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man.
I hope he got shot before he got eaten alive, though. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He was scared and... Scared? My uncle? He got bit. Back... back in the stream. Fuck you. No way! Nick. Come on, man. Fuck off! I mean... It's the scariest thing. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're gonna have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, but we have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Yeah, we're gonna walk for five days straight, you know? It's nothing. Nothing. Obviously, they're probably gonna stop. Along the way, obviously, but we're gonna advance five days into the future here as a video game. Well, that sucks. That sucks to be pers pursued it like that. But we know why. It's the fucking baby. And the water looks better. Okay, let's look in the distance. We got our binoculars. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, Fun fact about. But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. We need to keep his strength up, baby. I'm gonna look at everything. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. I mean, the underpass is unpassable. Like, I'm telling you one thing right now. The wind turbine in the original game, okay, spun. Like, it's spun. Like, spun, right? And now it's not spinning. Unless I can't tell it's spinning. Another lazy aspect of this game. I mean, the lighting's better. Why would you take out the animation? Oh, yeah, yeah. The spin. I don't know. It's so easy, the animation as well. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Yeah, wide right in the open, right? Carver will definitely find you there. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. 
I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? I think he knows too. In this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Shoot him. Too much noise. There are only two. I don't know. Let's take him. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. All right, I got a hammer. He's got a machete. Go ahead. Give him a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. Nice work, kid. Ow. I mean, Car I mean, not Carlos. Uh, Luke, he's, she's a kid. She's like 11 years old. Relax. Luke's actually my age. No, I'm older now, but yeah. Looks around my age. I look like Luke. So yeah. Is this a train bridge? Don't understand how they got to the bridge. Like we're trapped. Shit. This guy got a piece of shit in his mouth. Oh shit! Okay. Action buttons are way better. Whoa. The first one is terrible. Lost a hammer and a zombie.
dude, dude! What's going on? Like, how fucking bad is this game? It's RT, and then it's fucking A? Like, I'm gonna use the pole. That's terrible. That's fucking terrible. It's fucking A the whole fucking time. It's literally fucking A. The A button. I'm using the pole again. I, this is so bad. The fucking controls are fucking so fucking colorblindish. It's fucking blocking off the fucking screen, dude. Like, make it yellow so I can actually see what I'm fucking doing, dude. Wow, like you can't even see the cursor. It's bad, it's so horrible, man. Like, final fucking lead, dude. This game's gonna end up getting a 5 out of 10, dude, like, seriously. So I gotta pause it. The fucking... The fucking cursor is so fucking transparent. It's so invisible... That you can't even see it. Like, I'm playing from fucking two meters away on a 45 inch. Like, it's just so fucking bad. It's horrible. You know, and it, it's just like, like, why white? Why the color white? Why, why can't it be red? If it was red, I could actually see what I'm doing. But it's like, it's not even white, it's like invisible. Like, it's... It's shit, dude. It's horrible. Thanks, Clem. No problem. The game sucks. Let's keep going. And the game this is not this bad. The original version is way better. Like way better. Like it's you can't die. You literally can't die. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. What should I say? I don't know. Ask him for directions. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Wanna help me out here? We're a little lost. Lost, huh? Oh, it doesn't look friendly. It's a one-way street. It's like a showdown. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. I'm not an asshole. Well, are you calling me an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What 
the hell is he doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's, he's with us. Dick! No! Put it down! Is Nick a fucking retard? What's wrong with Nick? Shot an innocent man him? for no reason. Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? We thought you were in trouble. You were waving your arms. He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not you to shoot. You were right there. I to hear you. You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Yo, Nick's a fucking dumbass, dude. Like, seriously, what do you mean waving your fucking arms? What a fucking idiot. That guy's gonna fucking die anyway, probably. Fucking Nick's a fucking idiot. Move my mouse, it's on the re stop recording. There he goes. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Language. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Shut up, Nick. What did you see, Clem? Is that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Look, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Rex dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. You could use a little downsizing. You're one to talk. Sure. Thanks, Clem. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Hey, Clem, you check out that station yet? Not yet. Okay, so I don't know why Nick did that. It's kind of annoying what Nick did. Really annoying, actually. I'm gonna talk to Nick now. I had to kill my mom. Hmm. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on his big plan, some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm 
sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? Well, I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. <sighs> this means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Okay. I don't think we even see the watch, and I don't think we even... <sighs> the amount of laziness is just killing me right now. No wonder why Telltale failed as a company. I'm sorry. The way they were treating their employees... It was just insulting them. That I haven't get to play this beautiful game. Oh my goodness. It hurts. Yeah, they don't turn off the sound or lower it indoors. In the original game, the sound lowered indoors. I guess they're fucking that lazy. I'm gonna talk shit then. It's dead. I guess he slept here. Mm hmm. It's a knife, right? The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. It's a chest. This thing gets locked. I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Fuck, Nick. Guess we're taking this knife. Feels pretty good. Got a lighter. We got a water. We still got the water bottle. Really? Then we give it to that dying man. I guess we still have a binoculars now and then a knife. And and it makes sense because we have a backpack now, so we could fit most of this stuff in there, Ryan. And obviously, we could fit the knife in our pocket, the water bottle in our pocket, and the uh, binoculars. Not really. What? The, uh, the lighter, yeah, for sure. Oh, I, I don't want to go outside. I might not get the food. Um, I'll be right back. I'm not going to pause the game. I'm going to turn Clementine like this. You get to see this scenery. So, yeah, I will be back.
I'm back. I'm officially back. I got to do this now. There we go. The camera's back. So I'm not gonna cut that part out, but uh I needed a drink. And the reason why I need a drink is I actually been up all night, so I'm recording this at seven twenty in the morning. So I got a drink. I got a drink right here just in case, so it's all good. Let's uh pry open this box. There we go. Two cans. Hey. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. He keeps on like that, he's going to get one of us killed. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. That's funny. She looks just like you. Maybe a fatter version hey, of me. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Oh, it's Walkers. Stuck. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Oh, because of the gunshot. No, fuck Nick. What in the hell is that? Uh, 59 minutes. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. Made of steel. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Ah. Oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Look at me, okay? You're you're fine. All right, just just slow down, just for a second, okay? 
Got your grip? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. It's a birdie, right? Made it. You see anything? I can see the bridge. What the fuck is going on to my... What the hell is that? Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. W wait, there's another. Luke. It's like I was playing out a hundred sensitivity. I don't know what the hell happened there. Looks like the people living in the cabin, spoiler, came out. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, well, that's you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Oh, no, it's Kenny. Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'm gonna hug his ass. Even though he's a fucking hearted piece of shit. I'll take that as a yes. Talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please come in. That's Kenny, my man. This is why the episode's amazing. Because Kenny's in it. He's gonna be with us for the entire season two. And season three. So stay tuned. Best part of the game right there. Kenny's sure a drama king in this one. Oh yeah. He's fucking all over the place. Old friends. Copyrighted music right there. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, There's make yourself at home. Outside. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm Us. good. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. Clementine? They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. That was a loud thunderstrike. I don't know if that was outside my window or was that in the game. 
I got these Razer headphones. So I, I can't tell the difference. 7.1 surrounds to oh. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. So it's actually almost done. Actually, never mind. It's not almost done. It's probably another half an hour. This part's pretty long. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, oh on, shit, we... I didn't mean to... We cried. It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? That's definitely in the game. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... Yeah, all the zombies had mustard hands. Can grab Kenny. And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help walk? Um. Um. Took the blame for Sarah's photo. Yes. Did you sit with? Definitely with Kenny. Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, if you don't choose to f uh, go fight with Kenny, what happens is uh, Carver uh, picks up you and put, tries to put a bullet in your head, and Kenny gives up. That's what PewDiePie, I think, did. Well, that is the end of my Let's Play Walkthrough of the Telltale Season 2. Season 3 is gonna is my hateful episode, but it's a good one because it ties in with 400 days. We already saw Bonnie, so the other people are gonna be there. Which it doesn't make any sense because this place, right? What's gonna happen is... Uh, uh, it's gonna get overrun. So, there's people from 400 Days are probably all gonna die. A few of them are gonna come with you. And then, uh, see, episode 4 is gonna be my favorite episode. Episode 5, uh, it's alright. It's not bad, it's also... Episode 4 and 5 are my favorites. So, episode 3 is not my favorite, but again, we get to see the guys from season 400 Days. 
right? So, yeah. I don't like this game. Uh, we shouldn't have... We probably should have probably broken the two-hour mark at the end of my Let's Play. My This Let's Play is going to be like two hours ten, because, again, lack of checkpoints, really they changed up so much, and they got really lazy, so... Five or six out of ten is going to be my final rating. I'm not going to judge the game until I get to the end of Season 3. So, at the end of Season 3, I'm going to give my final verdict on the game as I do for all the games. And, uh, yeah. So, this game is not looking good. I love The Walking Dead, right? I get an extra 4,000 gamer score, but come on, dude. The game's got to be good. They changed so much. Like, I know they added a bunch of effects, I, I noticed. But, uh, because it's the first time me playing the Telltale Collection. Because I played this game before, so why not was I'll do it on a Let's Play. Um. Yeah, so the, the next episode, Season 3, is going to be very graphic. Same with Episode 4 is going to be very graphic as well. Episode 5, all of them are going to be graphic, right? But it's going to be cartoon cartoony stuff, right? So, I don't know what the hell that noise is. I don't know if you guys hear it. But I have 7.1 surround sound. Uh, so I can hear stuff more clearly. So I got a pair of razors. I, I fell in love with these other headphones. Now I, I'm in love with razors. I always gotta buy razors now because razors just make music so much better to listen to. Like, my microphone has good... It's a good microphone, right? With these razors, I have to swap it out to my computer headphones because they're so much better. I hate this. I'm hating so... I'm gonna hear The Last of Us in full surround sound when I do a face cam. I'm definitely gonna do The Last of Us, okay? Even though Last of Us Part 2 is coming out, I'm gonna do The Last of Us R. Like in Resident Evil 1 and 0. And that's the only games I'm going to do. I may do Tomb Raider, the first Tomb Raider. Uh, but before I even think about Tomb Raider, I, I gotta finish uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I just reached the uh, Pike TT, the most boring part of the game. So, like, it's pretty boring. Uh, I will finish Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but I'm just... Uh, Grinding through this this game first because it's my favorite game. I just want to finish my Telltale collection But since my Telltale collection does take two days to process a video. I know right even though with my upgraded computer um, The only thing the RAM does is just makes the recording easier um, and Yeah So I keep the credits in because, again, I always do that for each game. So I'm not going to be copyrighted. I was copyrighted for 400 days because I remember the merging of soundtracks. But it was uh, eligible for revenue sharing, I meaning it's not bad. Okay, so we know it's going to start the next episode. Okay, so I'm seeing the legend again, and that's the end of my Let's Play face cam walkthrough. Let's Play. It's not really a walkthrough, it's a Let's Play. Entertainment use only. Uh, but it can be classified as a walkthrough as well. Because um, it is a game. Uh, uh, so I'll see you guys on episode 3. Uh, you probably won't see episode 3 for a while, because it's my hateful episode. I'm going to focus on Shadow of the Tomb Raider this week, and, um, you'll see episode 3 by the end of this week, maybe on the weekend, maybe on Saturday. Uh, we'll do it, or Friday night. So, yeah, I'm pretty tired. And that's it. 
So, later guys, that was a hectic episode, and I took water breaks, or Gatorade breaks, and yeah, so yeah, I like doing these in one sitting, because it's an adventure. Alright, later guys.